Today I am going to teach lesson 1 of standard 9. That is matter in our surroundings. We can see many things around us. Stone, wood, paper. Scientists call them as matter. Now what does mean by a matter? Anything that occupies space and mass is considered as matter. That is anything that occupies space and mass is considered as matter. There are few characteristic features for matter. Let us discuss one by one. That is one, particles of matter have space between them. Second characteristics, particles of matter are continuously moving. Third one, particles of matter attract each other. Now let us discuss one by one. Particles of matter have space between them. Now you just take a 100 ml of water in a beaker and then add a one spoon full of salt or sugar. Dissolve it. Can you see the salt? No. Whether the water content level is increasing? Now where this salt is gone? That is according to the characteristic features of matter. Particles of matter have space between them. The salt particles occupies the space between. The content level is increasing. Now where this salt is gone? That is according to the characteristic features of matter. Particles of matter have space between them. The salt particles occupies the space between the water. Now second characteristics, particles of matter are continuously moving. You just take an incense sticks and keep it in the corner and light it. After and you just move to another corner. After some times you can see, that is you can have the smell of that incense sticks. That is the particles of matter are continuously moving. Now we can discuss the third characteristics. That is you just take an iron piece or a chalk and try to break it, hammer it. And it will, it's iron, it takes a lot of force to require to break it. That means it is particles of matter attract each other. The particles are attracted closer. So more force is needed to break the things. So this is about the characteristic features of the matter. Now we will discuss about the three states of matter and its properties. That is solid, liquid and gas. First we will discuss about the property of solid. Now solids have a definite shape. Now you can see the chalk. It has a definite shape. Stone has its definite shape. It has particular volume. And its compression is negligible. It has particular volume. So these are the characteristic features of characteristic properties of solids. And the molecules of the solids are closely packed. The particles are closely packed. I will discuss about the liquids. Now liquids. Liquids have no definite shape. It occupies the space of the container. I can see the a glass of water. The shape of water is the shape of the glass. If you take a liquid in a mug, the shape will be similar to that of that container. So it has no definite shape but it has a particular volume and it is fluidity is there. It can flow and the particles are freely move. They can move freely in the liquids and another property of liquid is diffusion. Solid, liquid and gases can diffuse in the liquid itself. Even the marine organism can breathe the gas which is dissolved in water. So these are the particular properties of the liquids. Now come back to the gases. Gases, their molecules are free. They are breathe the gas which is dissolved in water. So these are the particular properties of the liquids. Now come back to the gases. Gases, their molecules are free. They are continuously moving. They can move about, apart and they can compressed. Compressed natural gas, CNG, which is used in the automobiles. That is the gas which is compressed. LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. So it can compress at a very high pressure and can be filled in the cylinders also. These particles can freely move.